Hi guys, this video I wanted to talk to you about how we can shift the hues of an image so that um, we can get a completely different color but the color that we want to shift is, is uniform uh, throughout the image so uh, in Photoshop, uh, let's go to Photoshop it's, let's say we wanted to change the, the hue of this red we wanted to make it into something completely uh, new and interesting uh, you know what I would probably do is click the little hand tool there and then select that obviously it's the red it's the red color then I get my hue and I would change it to whatever hue I want so let's say we want it to go to uh, a bluey greeny color let's say a blue color like that you know by doing this you can see that this is the paving has gone pretty green um, we've got a, a sort of shade of green under here this shadow is kind of greeny looking and we can start messing around with uh, these uh, little sliders and it can bring colors in make changes and you know you can get you can get to a better point but I still said that still see that this is a little bit green in here and this is a little bit blue so it's not super great control plus we're having some other changes in in uh, the, the those white areas of not so cream anymore they they're more white but um, you know you can see this color here is it's become more gray and it's more cream uh, using uh, Photoshop so let's delete that layer and we're going to go into 3d luck creator okay now there's PD way we'll get rid of Pete let's start a new a new LUT uh, okay oopsie hang on let's now let's get the image from Photoshop click on this little button at the bottom image from PS and that'll load that image up there we've got a, a nice new LUT there and I'm going to look at changing this mode here color mode down to HP HSP and E you can see it the all these um, color maps are all they change as you go through so if you go to LAB you'll see it's quite restricted it was only a certain amount of points but if you go to this HSP and E color space you'll see that it opens the image up a hell of a lot more I'm going to change the grid to a square and I'm going to look at what are the colors the main colors in this image you can see there's only a few there that really um, relate to all this obviously the paving is still there but so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much I'm going to pin them all and I'm going to grab mostly those uh, areas that are in the reds pretty much like that sorry I didn't pick those up I'll do them separately and then I'm going to move them to a similar sort of blue color that we had before and I can't remember exactly what that color was but it was something kind of like that I can see there there's another bit of red see that that was a red that was in the shadows there I can make that enhanced we can pull that out and bring that down to that same point and all of a sudden you know we're getting very much the same uh, colors but you notice the path hasn't changed a great deal it has changed a little bit but not a great deal and and all these still look the same as well uh, we can go a little bit further if I start pulling more out with then we can we can end up getting some some weird color too. so you just kind of trial and error finding the the uh, the points that you might need but that's looking pretty good if I go before and after there's before and there's after so you can grab all these points you can drag a box around them and you can bring them down and make them a bit more saturated if you want or we can make them any other color that we want as well maybe we want to go for a completely green wall or just a light no, let's go for a that's a pretty khaki color go for that color no bugger it 
let's go for that color I like that color for some reason now we can go back send that LUT to Photoshop and there we have it I'll turn it on and off you can see the paving has uh, been affected only because the, the paving is getting a it is kind of an orangey paving anyway and it's getting a bit of reflection from that red color but if you look into all the shadows they're they're, re they're accurately represented and the, the whole image looks now like you've just got a green wall so it's such a great way to make huge shifts in your images and to mess with color 3d like creators is, is pretty much it now obviously we've got a layer mask there so if I just use the brush tool and use the square bracket let's go back and make that a bit smaller and let's just go to 100% flow 100% opacity and I'll just click once on that bit of paving there hold down the shift key and go to the other side click another time and it will basically just draw that back so there's our paving back looking like it should so yep if you if you are going to do with any mess with any colors forget photoshop 3d luck creator is a program for you cheers guys